Hello again guys, I'm coming at you today from my car, of all places, because I have a car-related product to show you, and no other place to film at the moment. This is the Zeus ZUS Smart Car Finder and Dual USB Car Charger. Now, like I said there, this is a car charger. It's a smart car charger, though. It's not just a dual port car charger. I normally wouldn't make a video about something that was just a car charger. This is a smart car finder and a charger. Taking a look at the back of the box here, it says it's got two times charging speed, max 4.8 amps, so 2.4 amps per port. Elegant shine lighting, so it has a light built into it. Military grade quality, award winning design, a reversible USB port. Very, very cool stuff there. But the thing I found very, very interesting about it is Smart Car Finder. So there's an app you can put on your phone, and then when you have this plugged into your car, supposedly, it can help you locate your vehicle. So I thought I'd go ahead and show you what's in this box, get it all set up, maybe move away from the car or something, and then try to find it. Which is gonna be difficult, given that I have a broken foot. But anyway, inside of the packaging here, there's honestly not a whole lot. There's a little getting started guide, just some very easy pictures, seven steps to get you all set up. There's another little card here with a bunch of different languages on it, that just has getting started information and warranty information. And last but certainly not least, the car charger itself. And this is it, that's all there is to it. There's no included cables or anything, you will have to provide those for yourself. But yeah, that's all there is to it. It's actually very high quality material, it feels very solid in the hand. It mentioned military grade construction, so hopefully it will hold up appropriately. It also mentioned reversible ports, and I can see looking down inside of there, I'll try to get shots of everything later so you can see it. It does appear that the ports are gonna be reversible, which is awesome. And basically just looking through this little quick start guide, it says, go get the app for it, open the app, plug it into your cigarette lighter, start the car's engine. The light should turn on and it's ready to connect over blue Bluetooth. The app will search for it and automatically connect. Whenever you park your car, it automatically saves your location. When you need to find it, open the app and follow the arrow. The app will indicate your car is nearby when your car is close by within sight. I'll be kind of curious to see how this would work as compared to something like Google Now, which gives you the option of saving your parking location. But anyway, let me go ahead and install the app. Now, I did forget to mention this is available on Amazon right now. If I remember correctly, this was actually the product of a an Indiegogo or a Kickstarter campaign, but they have finally come to fruition at this point. It is fully available. I ordered mine through Amazon. They provided it free, but they gave me a promo code to purchase it, and it did show up in just a couple of days. But taking a look over on the Google Play Store, search for Zeus Smart Car Charger, and it is the first one that's available, and it says it's ready to open. So I've gone ahead and powered my car off. I've been trying to keep it cool in here, but there you go. It's wanting me to set up an account now. Let me do that with my Facebook account, and we'll just get logged in. All right, we are logged in. So it actually had me go ahead and plug it in. So I plug it into the car, turn the car on. As you can hopefully see there, the ports have lit up. It's got a little flashing light on top, and the app says Zeus is connected. Connected. Press the home button to close the app, leaving it running in the background. And if I tap this button, it'll show a little map of where I'm located. Tap up here in the corner, gives you information. You can change the name of it. You can do global settings. You can share it with your family. You can do referrals. I'll make sure to leave a referral link down in the description if you guys are interested. But you've got software version, firmware version, support links, and that's basically that. And at this point, let me just go ahead and plug in a cable. We'll see how easy it is. So there we go. Plugged in, no problems, no hassle. Flip it over. Plug it in the, oh, still works. And checking my phone very quickly, it does say it is charging. Go ahead and unplug it. We'll plug it back in the other side, the other way. And it did buzz again, it says charging. So both ports appear to work appropriately. The GPS location information appears to be working. Now I can't really do any real in-depth testing of the ports or anything because I, I don't have my, my port testing, my USB doctor with me at the moment, but it's charging. It's not doing quick charge or anything. It doesn't say that it will and I wouldn't expect it to, but it is charging. It actually just finished charging my phone and the ports do appear to charge appropriately one way or the other. And there is a bit of a light to it. I'm not gonna say that it has like an LED that's shining out of it that's super bright or anything, but the ports are illuminated so you should be able to see them in the dark as well. And realistically, the only other thing I can see to test with it is just to see if it works to find the car when you're away from it. So let's cut to doing that at another time. And as a bit of a minor update here, you can see from the last time I parked it where it is, the last time I used the device. So it says it's one and a half miles away. It says when I parked it and everything. If I sort of turn in that direction, you can see it's pointing me in the direction of the vehicle, but it's just using the, the last location that it logged into the app. You can actually have a picture stored in there if you have a picture. I just took a quick picture there, but if you take a picture whenever you're storing your vehicle, it'll show you what it looks like where you are. Maybe you take a picture of the closest parking sign. You can also put in information here for setting an alarm so you'll be notified if your meter's gonna run out if you park on the street, for example. But just from moving around like this and testing it out, it does seem to be pretty accurate so far. So yeah, all in all, first impressions of this device I love the fact that the ports are illuminated and that they're both 2.4 amps and that they are both reversible. That is an amazing feature in my opinion. Definitely well worth $30 for just that feature. The fact that it has the built-in find my car feature, 
that's cool stuff. When you're a Google user, an Android user, and you've got that Google Now, here's where I'm parked thing, not exactly as necessary, but still nice to have as a backup option. As somebody who might go to the mall and lose your car, or somebody who might go to a foreign parking garage and not know exactly where you're parked, it's a pretty cool feature. But I think that's actually where I'm gonna wrap it up for today. Thanks to Zeus, or Z-U-S, I still don't know how to say it, for sending this out for me to take a look at. Links to where you can find it can, of course, be found down in the description. I will go ahead and say it is an affiliate link, so I get a little bit of a kickback anytime you purchase one. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a thumbs up down below the video if you enjoyed this video. I definitely appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel to receive more videos when they become available. And I will see you again next time.